So you can get examples anytime you have any kind of force. And indeed, every time you have a force, you can do an example of Newton's third law. Let's start with, if you're lifting a book. So if you lift a book, there's a force by you to push up the book, and there's a force by the book pushing down on your hand. It's a handbook interaction. Or you might have a plane. If you have a plane's propeller, there you have the plane pushing on the air, the propeller pushes the air, and also the air pushes the plane. That's how the plane goes forward. It's a propeller-air interaction. You might have a swimmer in water. The reason the swimmer pushes on the water is in order for the reaction, the water pushing on the person, to push them forward. It's a person-water interaction. Or you might have a cricketer. And if a cricketer hits a cricket ball, then the ball experiences a big force, but the bat experiences an equal and opposite force. And that's why she has to hold it very firmly and also hit the ball right in the middle so that it doesn't twist in her hands, due to the bat-ball interaction. So in each of these cases, all you have to do is figure out what two things are interacting, and that tells you how to apply Newton's third law. And the force between the two things is going to be equal and opposite.